Miari kena usakasakabo, hola y buenos dia, hello and good day. It's Elba again, aka Phoenix Taino, playing some more wakfu. All right, so I've done quite a lot of things since the last time I recorded myself playing. Uh, some of these things, some of the recordings, rather, the files were corrupt by the time the recording was done. So, unfortunately, I lost all that. Uh, so, the last thing I did was gather a bunch of books and then come back to this library and find it on fire, like the Library of Alexandria. Perfect. I have. Oops. Soon we'll have a cover of the Oracalcum and the artifact in Octopodas. Burn everything and leave those survivors. What a mother father. Now I gotta fight. For anyone unfamiliar with Walk Through the Bad Guy that was just talking, it's called the Fog or Not. So Mother Fogger was a bad or good pun and this is a quest that I should have done like 40 levels ago that's one thing I like about this game is that you're not you're not stuck only doing certain things like you have the ability You have the ability to do so many different things. And I just had deja vu that one of my children overhearing this thing walked through the door. But anyway, like in this game, you can. Oh, I can't move my character! Sometimes I do that just so I will. I can only move one step at a time. Will it let me? Nope. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time! Damn it! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. See how very little damage they all just did to me? It's cause, like, I'm super beefed up for this particular quest. But as I was saying before I interrupted myself, <laughs> there's so many different things you can do in this game. Um, if you're not the kind of person that really cares for fighting, you can pick a profession and just do that the entire time. And still level up and stuff. I mean, to be able to do certain quests, you would still need to, um, does that work? Yeah, I can still get it. Go through the storyline. Can I move? Yes, I can move. But, um, I mean, all that stuff can be done at your own pace, really. At your leisure. You know, there's different quests that I could have been done, but it didn't stop me from progressing my character in the game. Not gonna help 
you, buddy. I don't really need that, but better to have it not need it than need it not have it, right? But yeah, um, now that I'm not as easily distracted, when you play this game, there are so many, it's, it's very open world, first of all, um, and there's, there's the storyline, but you don't have to, like, necessarily do things in order. Like, there's quests that I should have completed, see how this says, or you may not be able to see, but it says, Path of Knowledge, level 25. I am level 67, and there are quests that I completed that were, like, level 40. So, like, you don't necessarily have to do things in order. Um, you can wander around the entire world. It's not like a game where you're limited to certain areas until you progress the storyline enough. You can, after you get to, I think, level 20, you're pretty much good to travel anywhere in the world. Um, and the reason I think it limits you up until 20 is just because you're still kind of, it's still kind of like teaching you how to play the game. Which is a lot more complicated than than it probably looks. Um, and yeah, I, I mentioned earlier how like if you're not necessarily the type of person who likes fighting games, you're more like a cozy game player. Um, you know, think think Farmville or Animal Crossing or or Stardew Valley. You can do stuff like that in this game as well. Like your characters can grab seeds from different plants, harvest them, grow them, um, well, grow and then harvest, and then turn around and sell it on the market to other players. Um, like some players may be more geared towards fighting, and so they don't spend as much time uh, with like gathering materials and whatnot. So people who are more on the cozy game side having friendships with them, you know, kind of helps both parties, right? Because the cozy game player is able to sell these products, level up, get experience and whatnot, and make and make commas, which is uh, the money and walk food, while the ones that are running around and fighting because that's that's more their their vibe, their jam or whatever, um, they don't have to you know, quote unquote, waste time gathering materials. They can just turn around and with the loot that they gain from all these fights, just buy the materials from somebody. So it's pretty cool. Where's my mouse? There it is. Okay. It's a catastrophe. The library is in ruins. The cult has had the Gabolium Codex. No, the cult has the Gabolium Codex. You have to tell all that to Kenny Holmes Jr. The good part is that you got to unwind a bit while beating on the accursed cultist. Go back and speak to Jenry Holmes Jr. Okay, I didn't get much experience there, but that's because I should have done this like 20 levels ago. <laughs> the perks of being in a guild is that there's people that, you know, if if they're in the game with you and they're like, hey, you want to do a dungeon run or something and they're significantly higher level, um, you get mad experience really freaking fast. So that's why mm -hmm. I've been able to level up so quickly. Hey there, I hope the university is to your liking. Jenry, it's awful. Members of a breast called Tech University and stole the Gabolium Codex. <laughs> what? But by the God, what about the library? Sorry, it burned down. How are we going to find the... Or a chalcum without the book. Mm -mm. Our beautiful library. Well, let's refocus. Most of the books that were available, there were copies of old documents found in the old Bonta's ruins. The one that was destroyed and partially buried during Ogrest's chaos. Why copies? And how does that help us? Mm -hmm. Really? Because the originals aren't burned. That Okay. We don't have any way to move and look after such old documents, especially after they're pulled on to scorch the magic for Ogress Tears, which means that the original copy must still be in the library of the old Bonta ruins. Let's go there. What? The magic at last. Where are we going? 
Yeah, apparently the main character isn't a fan of reading. They just want to run around and punch people. <laughs> We've got no time to lose. Though we're going to use one of the Helper Mage's elemental portals, powered by the Quadramental Breeze. Go back down this corridor and take the second door on your right. I'll meet you at the ruins after getting my equipment. Jump through the aquatic portal. Second on the right, aquatic portal. Got it. See you in a moment. My first, the first door on the right, which I came came from the other day. So we gotta go here. Harry Holmes Jr. Blah 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 blah. Things that the summary of what he just said to me. So, I'm into Portals Terrace. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, cool. There you are. The portals aren't very reassuring, but by the end, taking the aquatic portal isn't as bad as they say. Having to take the fire portal isn't as bad as, say, having to take the fire portal. Leap into the siphon and don't forget to hold your breath. It's gonna be rough. So. Nice. And they made it to where you can't even, like, go into any of the other ones. Like, stupid proof. It's the blue one. <laughs> if you have questions, don't hesitate to talk to me. This way. Alrighty then. I'm not reading that. Cause... No, I went to press here. And then here. There we go. Do have fun. Mm -hmm. So, adventure, are you ready for the most heart pounding 30% of archaeology? If there is a way of beating books rather than reading them, I'm game. So, what should we do now? Mm -hmm. You must get the Cabolium Codex from the old Bonta Library here in these ruins. Okay, directions the library in the underground ruins of old Bonta. Like, you gonna tell me where to go, friend? Or I gotta figure this shit out myself. Cause... Oh wait, there's probably something. Is it this away? I just got to rummage through all of these books. Of course, as a fight, I didn't find the codex inside. What the world? A minictionary. Of course. Why? There's so many things weak to fire, and that's the one element that the Sedita does not work with. That's fun. Uh, I'm not getting much experience here, but... See that? Experience needed for next level. 2,200... No, 2,270,838 points. So, it's gonna be a minute. Probably in like a huge pile of books. Okay, I was expecting to have to do another battle. A wild Pokemon appeared. Oh, Cabolium Codex. We found it. Yeah, you should run away. Oh, 
<laughs> what in the world? <laughs> may be right nearby. Mm -hmm. In fact, the last time that a cup like that was awarded, it was Takan Carcass. The cup is possibly in his tomb. To the cemetery! This is gonna have some random side attack or something. Oh no, just like skeletal warrior things. Disoriented chafer. I might as well do this. That way the other one has to more of a one-on-one -on -one battle. It takes a little bit longer for the other ones to get to me. My character's like, ha, ah, that tickled. <laughs> my water spells too much, that's why I'm playing around with stuff, even though I could totally, I could totally knock this guy out. Very few rounds. Why is he still, oh no, he's done. I'm wasting time. And I can't move to that square either. So I learned something new. you be a 
at rest. I don't know. You're just gonna go right up on them because they didn't do any damage. The bottom left, you can see anything that's missed on the screen. My apologies, by the way, for anybody who can't see me. As I have a trying to break myself out of the same life. As you can see, and assuming that you won't escape death. Sorry, that you won't escape death is definitely what that skeleton was just saying. Keep talking shit. <laughs> Wait, no. No, let's get the turn. I want to face them first. At least my back is protected by this block, so they can't do the most damage to me possible. Uh-oh, the sword play that hit me on the other side actually hurt. Did a little damage. Okay, y'all. Okay, now we're happy. Wait, if I did, and then cast the spell. Oh, come on. And see, the fighting isn't all just like, oh, you know, um... Attack, attack, attack. You know what I mean? Like, because I know there's people that have more of what I call like a Rambo style of fighting, which is like a lot of the times, like, no concern for your health. You're just gonna go into whatever battle and start swinging. You know what I mean? Oh, like that one meme. Anyway, I started blasting. Like. <laughs> There's this game is even when you are fighting, it's strategy. So where's the at? Wait, nothing to hover over. Okay. Oh, here we go. This will probably be a, another fight. Perfect. Let's have a look at this cup. We'll wait for you around all the beds to play dirty tricks. We'll sow chaos everywhere we go. That's enough. I've had enough of you following me everywhere. Stops now. But what's with this outfit? That's Twisties. This outfit is very pretty. Stop your mocking. These mortals will teach you a good lesson. You got us once, but we're much stronger today. How many times is he going to get me into a mess? Mimi Chick don't be helping in battles either. They got the bow meow looking like a meow. <laughs> and these two are clearly supposed to be um, spoofing Jesse and Jane from Pokemon. And I am not mad at it. I love it. Oh shit. It's your turn to play, Miraclelo. See, now she's about to summon something. Oh, wait, I guess she's not. Oh, yep, she is. What the hell is that? That's her quote-unquote Pokemon, I guess. What the hell? Okay. Whatever, we're just gonna... Uh-oh. Well... That. Let's put a healer on the board. Oh, no, I can't see them. Then I'm gonna stand over here because attacks from the side and behind do more damage. So if I have something blocking, block covering my literal ass, then um, it'd be better. Is that me that's 
covered in some glowy shit. What is that? I can show her stats. Oh gosh. Oh, I can't move this character. Well, that sucks. You can heal. Oh, well, oh. ran out of time. <laughs> I love how punny the names of some of these characters are. I love the nerdy references to Star Wars and Pokemon and, and other things that, you know, we nerds tend to enjoy, you know what I'm saying? Like, there, there's so much to enjoy about this game, despite how, how boring it may look to others. Surrounding my friends. I don't like that. This gonna keep summoning shit. Missile, made up of Dane, Jemmy, and Muse, has several, or meows, has several weaknesses and strong points. The you must take into consideration in order to beat them. First of all, the dual Jemmy, which is powerful, but never not let them take advantage of it. Muse is extremely important to them. Summons are the strongest tool. There might be something here, even though they have to repeat. To fight so long as he's not alone. Right, I need to stop the guy.
I'll do. Jimmy and James will fight for each other until the very end. Knocking them both out could be a solution. Okay, so it even helps you with strategy. That's kind of like a magic carp. <laughs> What'd she call it? A magic carpet? She called it something. I don't know what the hell. Skeletons in the way. It's fine. Yeah, sure. Come closer to me. That's a great idea. what you get when you make fun of my outfit. <laughs> Why do I find myself mixed up in this again? Skedaddle, I think we make a great team, don't you? Hmm, anyways, I found the traces of a Gobolder ancestor here. I must return. Come see me if you need help. Yeah. See ya. Mm -hmm. what, is what is all this racket? By Gobol's ghost, one can't even rest in peace around here. Holy Fekka shield, the Gosta. Not a simple ghost off. I'm Khan Carcass, Gabal Champion Adventurer. Ha 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 ha. Oh, perfect. I'll let you take care of Khan. I'm going to find Mimi to uh, talk. Is that the only effect I have on you? Oh, well. Good job respecting the ancients. Thanks, huh? But, oh, well. Doesn't matter. I guess what he's saying. I have to fight him? Level 200? Oh, hell nah. Not fighting you. Hello, young one. So you'd like an autograph? Uh, are you Con Carcass? <laughs> Just a bit, little girl. So that took the wind out of your sails, didn't it? You've never seen a flamboyant. A yop is me, am I right? La creme de la creme, my little friend. I don't want to interrupt you, but that cup isn't real, is it? <laughs> what? What? Of course not. You take me for a yop? I mean... Leaving the symbol of my greatness within reach of the first Enutroph who comes along, by the twelve, the cup is safe in the global stadium of our great Vanta, a monument to my glory that everyone aspiring to the title of champion may admire at every match. Oh, the Gabal Stadium. So let's go. <laughs> You're going to the stadium? Fabulous. You're full of energy, just like my old friend Joris. You remind me of him when he was eight years old. <laughs> I'll go with you. Take lead, and I'll meet you there. I have to make an entrance. Uh, okay. Well, see you there. Alrighty then. Now what? Does this leave me out or am I gonna encounter more more things to fight? We shall see. Cabal Stadium entrance. Or Cabal. Oh, let's talk to her. Here we 
are reunited once more, adventurer. What may the goddess that I am do for you? What do we do now? And as for my part, as I've already told you, I'm trying to track down one of my ancestors who was apparently a cabaler in the time of old Banta. He was supposedly my Ocarina's guardian for some time. Really? Well, me and Jenny are going to get a rest of the old cup from the stadium and... Really? Well, I'll make the most of... Er... You'll be able to make the most of my greatness and power while I found out, find out what I need. Well, some old us is watching over you. Yeah, right. But... By the way, how did you get to these ruins? You didn't come via the Immaterial University of Banta, I imagine. <laughs> the I'm a what of Banta? No, I came via the geyser there just behind me. My magic carpet was really useful for sliding through the currents. It must be possible to go back through here too. You look skeptical. All I did was ask the elders of the region, and for a few commas they explained how I could get into how I could get to this place. A few commas? Dang. I had to read books. And more books. Books. So many books. Anyway, let's continue. Direction? The Cabal Stadium. Cabal Stadium. Get Hans Cup. supposed to say it. Oh, I guess I need to get one step closer. Damn it. Okay. Fuck. It'll be fine. Comes back to life after the KO. Are you serious? He's immortal, so there's no point in destroying him. That's wild. How am I supposed to get rid of him that, that is damaged by healing? Huh, okay. Rude. Well, I 
I guess he's not immortal. around me all you want. That's a bad idea. Goodness, how many times is this asshole gonna teleport though? Y'all see that? If you didn't, he teleported like three, four times. that it was a different spectral vibe before.
get more points or HP or something when they have to fall? Like, what's happening? No, oh, did it just reset the point? What happened? I am confusion. Just intoxicated my own friend. Oops. It's fine. I can heal you. If, if needed. Rude. They do have shields like blockers. It does reset them. Okay, that's the whole point. Gotcha. Okay, we learned it. Put atta another attacker on the board. Another healer. Well, another healer. I need to actually heal myself. I'm about to. I need to stop playing so recklessly. You'll have to win it. Oh, great. Now I gotta fight this asshole. You'll have to take me on. <clears throat> Lovely. He's gonna be a pain in the ass. In a cabal map. No holds barred. And I won't go easy on you. Of course. Of course. No, this is a legit fight, because this would be different. You're gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah. 
I'm back. Sorry, one of my kids had a question. Oh, he's gonna be a man in the ass. So right here. That way with my next summon. helpful. like it. Get my back to her. She's a friend. She's not going to attack me, I hope. I don't know if he can hurt me from there, but just in case he can't, I'm blocking his ass. Hopefully that puts him out of my line of that, uh, that puts me out of his line of sight. <clears throat>
complete dungeon success. All right, let me heal myself. And then, oh, I can't move anywhere. Turn now. Oh, shoot. Done. A beautiful map. The cup is yours. You earned it. Yeah. That's awesome. We just need to take it to my father in Astro. This way. Follow me. to write at some point by I'm so used to only going here to pray at the Almanac's altar that sometimes I forget to talk to this guy when I'm here because that's the whole point of coming. Hmm, what is it for? I'm very busy. Research waits for no man. I think your son and I have found a second or a child gum, but you're the only one who can verify its authenticity. <laughs> Let me see that. Hmm, that color. It's different from the first one. And? Hmm. Whisper something about the heat given off by the metal. Hmm. Yes, it would be good. Hmm. Murmurs indistinctly while leafing through an old, mold-covered volume that reeks of the swamp. Hmm. Oh. Hmm? What? Hmm. Here we are. I can assure you, just like the last time, that this is indeed an authentic orichalcum. Fantastic! Just... One more, and Octapodas' temple in Sufokia will be ours. Thanks, and see you. That's enough. Bunch of good-for-nothings. I had enough of your moaning. Listen carefully. Here's your next mission. Find me an underwa underwater vessel and a trusty crew. Don't come back till you found that. Is that clear? There won't be a second chance for you. Yes, boss. 
disappear now. Out. What a bunch of idiots. She's training this magic carpet. And if it's as useless as magic carp, <laughs> just gonna splash. Magic carpet? No, the dummies. Skedaddle. Let's try it. But all these bow meows. Uh, magic carpet, come back. Go on. Uh, leave. Kill 10 monsters must be within 35 levels of the hero. Oh. So yeah, when I beat the Han Carcass, that's the only one that counted. Smooth, rich voice resounds. Pray to the Meridia of the day. Yay, we did it. like 36 more times to go going up thank you all right reach level 35 and win a fight that was gonna be easy find a mineral leboc in the didimo moors the hell is that do i have to go back to bonta i probably have to go back I don't know if I'm in the right spot, if there's a... Well, no, must not be. That's fine. I'm gonna go to Astra. Because the weakest things to fight are in Astra. And I only need to win a fight to get to the next part of the quest. Like this little guy. He's just sleeping, minding his business. Attack! You're gonna get right up on his ass because he's not scurred, like, at all. You're done. You're done Ta da! And since I'm already level 35. Be a mock. So far, this is told the game has told us to go other than Astra, a Machna, then Bonta, and Zenith. Everywhere else I've been has been of my own volition. So maybe a Machna is where the person I need to talk to is? I don't know. It's here. I wonder if he's in the other nation. Maybe he's in Sofokia. Otherwise, I don't know. The only other place I can think of is nation that we've not been told to go to yet. Aha! See how that compass showed up? The compass only works when you're in the same area as uh, the quest of the group. So we know that we are in the right area now. And 
how do I get to where this person is? Oh, you know what? I'm making things harder on myself. I could use this big old turkey. And go here. Oh. This is the um, nation that my husband joined. He said he thought the area looked cool. <laughs> what the? I'm a famous scientist. I don't have time to waste on good for nothings like you. Wait a bit. Haven't we already met? Yes. What's more, you were the one who asked me to come. What can you tell me about the Orichalcum? Oh, yes, honorary Arco archaeosologist. Very well. I've managed to track down my customer, the one who bought the Orichalcum back when I didn't know what it was. I got a good price for it, but it could have got much more. Ugh. I would have sold. I wouldn't have sold it had I known what it was at the time. All right, but who is it, and where can we find him? <laughs> How impatient! Well, you're right. Time is money. It looks like we're dealing with one of the largest industrial fortunes in Brathmore. The magnet of the Sidomite meccas, who I call Charles Henri of Villarde. Vile art. I can tell you he's a hard businessman. He was a regular customer, a real lover of antiques, but he hasn't been back in touch since he bought the Orishalcom from me. Oh, really? That's strange. I hope that has that nothing has happened to him, and he will agree to give us the Orishalcom. Hmm. Give? Give? <laughs> to hear you talk, anyone would think it's your first time here. The first time you've heard of Brackmar. Nothing's free here. Everything has a price, even people's lives. So you think that if he bought this item for me, he's not going to give it up so easily. Even with some strong negotiations, expect to pay a high price. Personally, I won't be paying a single comma. It's you who wants the ore shop come after all. Amazing. Well, where shall we start then? Mm -hmm. Well, as with all complicated things, let's start with the basics. Find me at the heart of the ghetto in front of the entrance to the cinema. And co factory further to the west, hold on to your purse. The inhabitants of this neighborhood are known for their sticky fingers. The Sidomotes and Co factory ghetto. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So, is this the way I came? Wait. No, go back. There we go. Okay, where is the objective? Let's put everything on the map so I don't the world. Ta-da! Ta-da! Look at all this shit. Okay. to go this way. Don't see anything else indicating <sighs> just so the slums, which was the, the, the direction I was going. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be like a dungeon? the world? Is he stabbing somebody? <laughs> what the hell? Talk to Nibble. I don't know how to say this. I don't know how to say this person's name. Aquí? No. Y por acá? Tampoco. How? Why is my mouse not working? Okay, the game like froze for a second there. It got a hole. Oh, okay. I mean, I thought I was on the bridge. I was not. 
on the bridge that was under it. My brain wasn't braining like it was supposed to brain. So how are you coming along? Here I am, so what do we do now? As I just mentioned, we have to go to speak to Charles Henri in his office at the back of the factory. He's a big important man with a very busy schedule. It's rather difficult to get to talk to him in person, especially when you don't have an appointment. Usually it's incredibly complicated to even get an appointment. In fact, he often ends up pushing back appointments, sometimes for weeks on end. And, and since, I remember that once he postponed an appointment with the governor of Brahma by over two months with no apology or explanation. The governor was furious. He chose 69 prisoners to be executed at random from Brackmar's jails. That was one for each day the appointment was pushed back just to appease his frustration. He didn't utter a word of complaint to Mr. Villard himself, though. Oh no, when you're dealing with a man as opposing as Charles Henri, even the governor has to hold his tongue. All that reminds me of another... Stop! You talk a lot, don't you? <laughs> That's true. I get too easily distracted. Listen, I'm going to take advantage of my celebrity to get us into the factory. Watch how the professionals do it. Ready? Very well, let's go. Very good. Watch professional at work. For sure, sure. Guards, open up. You again? What do you want? I I demand to speak to Charles Henri. You demand? Ha 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 ha. Boss was very clear. No archaeosologists, busybodies allowed. So leave now, or else. Dun dun dun. You about to get Molly Wop. Oh shit. Don't take it so badly. I'll be back. Sorry, I couldn't do anything. Professional, eh? The honor of finding a way. In falls to you. Go talk to the locals for me, then come back here. I have a little idea. Okay. Find out more about the local Bregnarian customs. I cannot believe this is the nation my husband chose. And it's not like he hasn't watched walkthrough either to know that the citizens of this particular nation tend to be assholes. Look at him. This dude's like whacking the shit out of this one chick. She's just... How rude. Okay. So, speak to Savannah the Silky. Okay. Where are you at first? Oh, you're not going to tell me. I can't hold it. Okay. Vamos por aquí. Oh. <laughs> hey there, cutie. Are you all alone or are you here for one of your quote unquote friends? Actually, it's Lavoe who sent me. And. Ah, Lavoe, that little bundle of nerves. <laughs> He's too cute. He's always been straight with me, so I'll offer you the same prices as I offer him. You need to distract somebody sensitive to feminine charm. Come see me. It would be my pleasure to put a sparkle in their eyes and melt their hearts for the right amount of commas, of course. Perfect. A femme fatale for rent. I'll note that down. The two. Scrapper. Putmero. Okay, I can use what I got. I have a feeling I'm going to have to come to you soon. Tongue twist the mouth. Okay. I'm about to fight that one dude that keeps whacking the chick if it lets me. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? Speak quickly or get out before I shut you up. I'm not too keen on being seen with a stranger. In fact, I don't like being seen. Full stop. Me either. I do. I dislike being perceived despite my social media presence. Minero Lavoque told me about your slicing edge. <laughs> I see. Listen, if he sent me to you, it may be that you need my services. So if you have So if you have someone you need to make disappear quickly and quietly, I'm your guy. My contract is very clear and straightforward. You pay, I slay. 
Okay, we see you. Tongue twist in the mouth. See, I was right. Gotta talk to the endotroph here. Da -da -da -da. Hey, you, tourist. Look who's lost in the back streets of Bragmar. Do you need a hand? I expect immediate payment in cash. And I don't do refund. Non-negotiable. Oh, and I don't like having to repeat myself, so if you ask me for the same information twice, you'll have to pay double. Aminarel. Aminarel, Libo. Advise me to come and talk to you. Okay. Ha, huh, little Libo. Rachmarian through and through that one. He's also been by two or three times this week. He warned me he'd be sending others here before long. I'm so happy he did. If you need information about the locals, or I don't know, let's say the guards posted in the factory's airlocks. Come back and see me later. I should be able to help you for the right price. Information on sale. All right, no problem. Ciao. Okay. Oh, and I can't fight this asshole. Leave her alone, you dick. So how are you coming along? I've had a little chat with everyone. You could say the people in this neighborhood are rather keen. <laughs> Great, you've met some of the locals who stand the best chance of helping us get past the guards. Thanks to them, we'll be able to get to the center of the factory much more easily, as long as you get them on your side and you can make the most of their skills at the right moment. Whatever you decide, we need to get going. By all means, go ahead of me. I'll cover our back. Thank you for your gallantry. Let's go. We talk to all them peoples. Enter the factory proper. Past the first airlock. Why do I feel like this is gonna be one of those things where, like, we gotta be sneaky? And if they see us, we get kicked out and have to start all over. Or is it just a direct. Alright, here we go. Now it looks like I'm about to fight. Bribe top. Sneak in. Oh no, he saw me. Uh, excuse me, I think I'm lost. What the? Who? Everything's fine. I sell great leather jackets and... Tell me that's Bontarian Bleepy Leather, isn't it? Bontarian, but, but of course. Follow me then. I'll show you my catalog. Yeah, your girl prefers to be sneaky. Airlock door too. Why you not let me in? No? Por qué no me deja? Okay. Past the second airlock. Sneak in, bribe, talk, attack guard. I'm just gonna keep sneaking. If I don't gotta fight, I don't gotta fight. <laughs> oh, it's the same thing. Ha, nobody moved. Don't go any further, intruder. Alright, well, we tried. We tried to be sneaky. If I must, I must. Level 36. These guys. Well, you know what? I might as well have stayed where the hell I was. Similar. Oh, you need to water. Okay. Okay. Oops. Do 
this. That's it? That's all you had? One hit? One hit, friend! myself? Do I lock myself when I use this move? I give him a yeah! And then a hi yeah! And then I kick him! Okay. It's not gonna make me... Okay. Now, if I select top, is homegirl gonna show up and... Maybe help out? I don't know. Who goes there? Do you have a pass, an invitation, or an employee ID card? If not, off you go. Let me pass, snout face, before I smash in that tiny bit of brain matter that's still floating around your empty skull. I have some business to discuss with your boss. What's your job? What are you exactly? A bork? A lousy pig? A hookle? Huckle? I don't know. We just gonna click the one. Why are you talking to me like that? Do you take me for a wet yop? <laughs> Come over here. I'll show you what it means to have an empty skull intruder. Sure, sure. I probably should be, but I am not afraid of you. Then there. Why would you stand in my way? Okay, well, you actually did something. Rude. Uh... Did you just summon that doll? Can I pet that doll? Heal myself a little bit. I don't like you. Fuck, I'm stuck, and this asshole is probably gonna come right here, right in my way. <sighs> Means I need to heal my friend here.
gonna die, bitch. Like, just, just know. Know that you're gonna die, friend. Factory door. Did we make it? Okay, the path is clear. I managed to generously convince that there is still a handful of guards in the factory. Obviously, I'll let you take care of that. I'll be on the lookout so no one bothers us. <clears throat> what a living livered peewee. Workers to talk to. No. Interesting. Bad guys, of course. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can I just sneak in? No. All right. time for this game to be acting up on me like this. But it's here. right next to us. And then I'm gonna come this way. Because that seems like a good idea. You probably need to face that way. And then I can start kicking things from here. Here, face that way, boom. Gather around, somewhere. <laughs> Go to the factory and enter Charles Henri of Villard and South. thought it was going to do. And I cannot move, so I might as well put a tree nearby. Mean! 
shoot, I can't see my own doll now. It's fine though because... And then homeboy over there will hopefully be useful for that last hit. Yep! That's what I'm talking about. locker room area. Oh. Why are you crying? Capitalism. Probably capitalism. Oh look, some capitalist pigs. But um alright. Just go no ignore damn. Because we can. And a Sedita here. Bro. Okay. Oh man, we probably have to go through a painter standing in front of or something and I didn't even notice. Yes. I can hold there to say, okay. Can I go in my bed? At any point, can I go in the back? Like, if I go here, will it let me go in my haven back? No. It's treating this like a dungeon. Or I can't do shit. What is that? Component basket. This basket lets you pull away, put away all your refinements and components. So if I like. Enough talk, let's fight. <laughs> Sacrifices needed to be made. I why can I not ever move? Esto me encojona! I feel like I'd probably do more damage to Jill, but you would probably be better to get rid of first. Oh, and I could have gone around. Nope, can't move.
am I already so tired? Okay, kind of early last night too. So, okay, la cosa. Oh, I don't want to zap from my uh, friends. Yeah, that's not. I don't like it. Say time to get rid of the doggo, but I want to get rid of that guy first. The exit? I don't remember having come this way. Yes. Oh, I think it's this way. Huh? Mimi? What's going on here? Oh. Intruder detected. Oh. Ah! Wrong girl. Don't pay any attention to me. Yeah, yeah, woo them away. Thanks, me. Mr. Charles on Room's office is just beyond this door. Let's hurry before something catastrophic happens to us. Who let you in? Guards! Guards! Wait! This person came for business. A chance? I'm certain that you'll find a non-negligible profit. I'll let you check. I'll wait outside. A potential profit? Let's see. Okay, convince Charles Henri to give you to give the Orishal some back. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to pay his ass or complete some kind of mission. My time is precious. What do you want? Sorry, I And to what do I owe the pressure of your visit? I hope for your sake that it's important, or else you can be on your way. It would seem that you happen to be in possession of something I would like to acquire. I'm here for the or shall come. I know you've got it. Does he even know what he has? I see. Trade, and which item in my splendid collection are you looking to acquire? Yarkeo... Archaeologist and mineral sold you an item by mistake that actually belongs to me. It's an item you bought from mineral the archaeologist, a while back. I mean, this small, mysterious metal ball, which is hot to the touch and makes all the hairs of my body stand on end. 
Yes, yes, that's it. I need it. It's of the utmost importance. Let's talk to business. Yes, that's the item I was telling you about. How about a trade? Hmm. A trade for what, though? You intrigue me. Show me your arguments. Let's hope you have something good, because I won't back down easily. That's good tactics. Whatever it takes, I won't give up until I've got the aura shalcum. I need that aura shalcum. Is is that a good enough argument for you? Yeah, we're gonna do this one. You have a lot of spunk. I like that. Even if I like people who rub me the right way. Here in Brackmar, people take business very seriously, and I need nothing to change. Haha. <laughs> I'm not gonna take any risks in a discussion. I can't win. I'm very serious, but I'm not going to drop this business. And I'm not going to drop this business. So I'm expecting you to be ready to go. If you really want my or shall come. You're going to have to lay your cards on the table. You're a big man. Someone so well off as yourself with access to all the inner circles could have more than an or shall come. Why not give me that ridiculous ball of metal? I wasn't planning on going to bed this early. What's more, nothing gives me more pleasure than doing business with a man of your caliber, no matter the outcome. I don't know if calling him a big man is a good idea. I worked hard to get here, and it's true that I'm invested. I've invested a significant amount of both my time and my money. Oh, in the reconstruction of our Brackmire I earned my social status. There was also a time when I repelled those beastly rebels as attacks on our beautiful Sidamote Moors. What's more, I was received a commendation medal for services to Brackmar. Yes, you financed the rebel Uganok attack and avoided the invasion of the Mugur King's force. Yes, you fought off the Uganok rebel attack and stopped the lava larvae invasion. Yes, you directed the rebel Uganok attack and avoided the invasion of cute gemlins. Okay, like, I don't even know. I feel like it's the last one, but I don't know. I mean, instinct tells me this one, but I don't know if I should. Ah, those were the days, although these days are actually much better ever since I founded my flagship factory, City Molds and Co. That doesn't surprise me, since you're the genius engineer that worked on the net trail. You always succeeded. You always succeed. Everyone must be jealous of you and plot against you. Aren't you the genius engineer who took part in the design and the creation of the net trail? Your genius is limitless. I feel like saying his genius is limitless would be... An innovative mode of transport. I cannot be denied the Brackmarians were able to recognize my talent, and the proof of that is here today. My mechanical creations are sold throughout the world, and my bank balance has never been healthier. National heroes, mechanical inventions, and even your own militia. Impressive. I love your inventions. I even have a Sidamot and Co. toaster. Yum. Warm toast with jelly and gobbit butter every morning thanks to you. This one? Enough small talk. Let's talk about the Orishalcum. Well, my patience has its limits. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to talk to me about your militia? You know each other. We know each other well enough. Or well now. You want to give me the Orishalcum? Yeah, that's not going to happen. I know that getting the Orishalcum will have a price, but would you do me the favor of a discount? I'm ready to shell out if I have to pay 10,000 commas. I feel like... Maybe? Maybe? Ha ha ha, very funny. Back to more serious stuff. I think you have more to offer than that if you want the object of your desires. Sometimes I can be funny when I want to be. What would you say to the rare leather vest my partner is selling in exchange for the workshop? What would you say to me offering my services and in reward for completing your assignments, you'll give me your item? That uh, seems like the most likely. You're full of ideas. That's an interesting proposal. And what sort of missions could I possibly want to entrust to you? You mean sweep the attics in your factory? 
You mean for missions that require sweat, perseverance, and going out of city and closed jurisdiction? You mean be part of your militia under a daily contract? Ooh, no, I don't want to be part of a militia. I'll admit that I don't have much opportunity to get out and about at the moment. Uh, I understand you've certainly got a lot on your plate with managing your company. I can help you. I understand getting around a mechanical chair can't be much fun day in, day out. I can help you. It's a very good offer. You should take it. Actually, I've already got enough on my plate with the construction of my colossal project. Your colossal project? A pyramid-shaped palace? Aesthetic... Aesthetic mummies? Don't you think you might be overdoing it? I'll complete whatever mission it takes to get to the... To get the Orishalka. <laughs> be careful, the deal's a deal. There are missions to complete without asking questions about the Orishalka. Are we both in agreement? Deal. I knew I could convince you in a flash. Deal. Bones of wood and bones of steel. If I'm lying, may I be the girlfriend of Hell's Bow Wow. Deal. Your wish is my command so long as we both respect our part of the contract. Good. We should start right away. I'll need several different materials. I hope you'll be tough enough to complete these tasks. I'm the person you need. Thank God. There is only one option. I wonder what would have happened if I chose the wrong thing. You're the one who needs the aura shall come and at any cost, and that's good enough for me. If it's too difficult for you, try and buy what you need. Get on your way, obviously. Let's go. One crate, one handle, one basic string, 10 osamoras powder. A hundred times bucket of water. I have some of this stuff. Okay. What? Are you going to make me fight? I was about to say. I was worried. He's going to be like, haha, just kidding. I'm going to kill you now. Oh, now you're picking on someone else? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'm gonna hurry up, man. Why do I talk to you? Take Charles Henri the resources he asked you. Why do you want me to talk to you? <laughs> what do you want? Speak quick, quickly. Let me guess, you're a specialist in snappy comebacks, right? <laughs> One thing's certain, my blades are sharper than your mind. Keep going on like that and you'll get a free demonstration. Well, Free for me, but quite costly for you. I see, you're not one to split hairs. You... Uh, I have something else I want to ask you. Okay, then let's put the conversation short in just this conversation. Thank you, farewell, uh, goodbye. <laughs> what do you want? Okay, we'll right back to the beginning. I guess means I need to click on that. <laughs> it's quite simple. You put me on edge. I put you on my nice edge. Is that good enough? Oh, now that we're getting to the heart of the matter, and sorry for interrupting, but I was wondering who did your hair. It's crying to let someone leave like that. Something else I want to ask you. Oh, so we're just gonna, we're just here to piss them off. <laughs> You're a complete nutter to say that to me. Make another comment like that, and I'll prune your ears and everything between the two. Else, I want to ask you if I were to dissect your words, I'd get the impression you were threatening me. <laughs> if I had to dissect you, I'd do it with a scythe and an axe. Even your mother would recognize you. Come on, it's a little unkind to say such things. <laughs> you just don't know when to stop. I'm going to stop talking and then I'll chop you into dog meat for Charles Henri. Henri's bythards. Hey, you like animals? You have to be careful, but generally they're louder than they are dangerous. <laughs> the quiet ones are always the most dangerous, and I don't like talking too much. I'm more a man of action. Oh, the action. Slicing the air, decimating obstacles, savoring the competition, eradicating adversaries. <laughs> you really have a problem. I'll crack your skull and tool and lop off your head. Skull? Head? Might you be an intelligent man? <laughs> I don't lack spirit, and yours will join Externum in no time if you don't hold your tongue. 
The tongue? Are you a man of taste after all? A chef, maybe? <laughs> Continue, and you're really going to taste my blades, and they won't lack spice, trust me. But they'll give you more than a bitter aftertaste. Okay, you're doing a lot of threatening, but a lot of not following through. So... The sea, you must really be a fisherman. <laughs> If I'm a fisherman, then you're a big, stupid fish writhing in my net. You kept calm. You managed to get out of them, but you won't stop wriggling about. And I'm going to harpoon you. Still is indecisive. I was wondering what sort of sharp mind was hiding in your head. <laughs> Incisive, cutting, skating, brutal, and more. And I don't just mean my spirit. Continue down this path and you'll discover all my qualities. Okay, I think I've understood. You're a politician. <laughs> I am very polite. I don't have tricks or ticks. Now, if you can, now if I consider something to be vermin, I crush it mercilessly. Oh, a rat catcher. Is that it? So you know about rodents then. <laughs> Not rodents especially, but I'm ch champing at the... I think they meant chomping. Champing at the bit, and I'm lucky to bite if you don't change tactics. You're treading on thin ice, chum, and I'll be under it when it breaks. Acrobat, how could I have missed out on that? Always on a razor's edge. <laughs> The razor will be all around your neck. You don't stop this masquerade. Masquerade? Are you a maskless masquerader on vacation? <laughs> Only masks I own are death masks, molded on the faces of my victims and lined up above my fireplace and will search on my collection. You have trophies? You're a hunter then. Have I got it right? <laughs> so we just cycling through all the professions? Like, what? what is this conversation? I'll turn your fingers into a necklace once I've thrown them off one by one unless you stop your trickery. Trickery? What a funny word. You're a noble. A guy from the top? <laughs> the only top I know is where I nail the rope I tie around the necks of guys who chatter too much. They shouldn't time their chattering so badly. Bad timing and bad luck often go hand in hand. Are you perhaps an unlucky in your trough or an eclipse stamp with an Ubinoff brand? <laughs> Tying up Ubinoff and bad luck in the corner is kind of like giving someone the axe to cut off their own head, which is what will happen if you don't recognize the limits of your stupidity. Ha! Huh. The axis. My uncle was a forest ranger and... <laughs> That's enough. I've been patient enough with you, but it's over. Let me be clear. Either you immediately stop your puns and your ridiculous lines or you'll face the consequences. We talk about consequences. Are you a messenger of destiny? Oops, that slipped my mind. <laughs> Very well. Scrapper seems to purse his lips and squint beneath his mask, staring at you coldly without moving. Okay, then let's cut the conversation. I... Okay, you want to play the statue's game... It's a diversion that some find interesting, but personally, it doesn't move. Scrapper <laughs> says nothing and keeps staring at you coldly without moving. Come on, how hard you are. It's as if you're going to jump at my throat at any moment. <laughs> okay, I bet maybe I pushed it a little too far, but hey, a little verbal sparring makes a little verbal sparring makes the day more interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> I think I've upset you. I must have a bit too heavy on the spoon risens and nonsense. Shall we cut the dispute short? <laughs> Come on, is that worth cutting the ties that bind us? <laughs> Do you really want to cut the ties of friendship? <laughs> Come on, let a little smile on your face. I've hurt you, is that it? And you want to hurt me in return? <laughs> oh, you're not really funny. Don't let yourself get beaten. Grab the beast by the fur and get your claws out. <laughs> we had some good moments together, huh? You're not really going to rip up those magic moments like some common weed, are you? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll put my pride aside and try to be in, in a good mood to excuse myself. <laughs> Still mute? Bow meow, cut out your tongue and eat it? Okay, I give up. Just let me know what I can do to excuse myself. I'm getting out the white flag and planting it in the ground in front of me. Shall we sign a peace treaty with our blood? Okay, then let's cut the conversation. Blah, blah, blah. No, we don't want to do that one. Sorry, what I wanted to say is let's bury the hatchet. Okay, you win. Actually, I think, what? What do you... Here's your reward. A reward for your heroic beats. You have won ten folks. Stab, sprinkler. But... I'm gonna get stabbed. Yeah. There. That's done. 